you play Battlefield, then you should know how I feel. There's way more camping going on in that game than this game. But man, just run, run the damn camera. Ah, right, people. Twenty years. I've never seen nothing that stinks so bad like this. Twenty years. This is the sorriest display of camping that I've ever seen. And it all coincides with the new map pack release. I'm playing silo. People just in corners camping. I'm embarrassed right now to say that I play Call of Duty or any shooter out there. I'm embarrassed right now to say that I play online gaming. Because in the online community, 99.9% .9 of them want to camp in a video game. Now, I don't know if the numbers are a little bit, maybe a little bit too dramatic, but there are at least 50% of people that want to camp. Let me break it down for you. Let me explain it to you. If you camp and play defensively in a video game, you're not a good player. You can go 45 and 7, 60 and 2, you're not a good player. Do you understand that? If you run around and rush and go 30 and 15, you're better than them people. How do you have fun sitting in the corner waiting for someone to run by? And these new map packs are fucking, I love them. But man, the camping is just beyond crazy. Silo? It's, it's like hidden apartments in one building in Silo where you can just, it fits your body perfectly. Where you just back up in there, wait for someone to run by, shoot them. Then go to another part of the goddamn same building. Back up, wait for someone to come in the door. It's ridiculous. So, we need to find a solution to stop people from camping. We need to reward people for playing the game the way it's meant to be played. When I say that, I mean rushing. Playing smart, rushing. Because, see, it's a video game. When you distinguish the video game from fact in real life, then you'll be all right. We need to reward players. Certain points for more movement. What, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm just going to go on this rant. I can't take playing the game when people can't. It's unbearable. There is no point in playing the game. You know what I found myself doing about an hour ago? I found myself sitting in one of the little corners I described about five minutes ago in that same building on that same map silo waiting for these people to come back. Yes, I did. And I should upload it because I sat there and waited for them and damn, I killed them all. But then they killed me too. They found back towards another vantage point that I had no fucking clue how to get to because I'm not a camper. I don't have that mentality. But that's what, it, that's what it's reduced my game to. Waiting for these little campers to come back for the little sleeping quarters then I kill them or they kill me vice versa. I mean, what is the problem with the online gamer these days? Why do people camp in a video? In a, see, it's a video game. You're paying money to sit in your room to go camp in another room. I don't understand the philosophy behind that, the reasoning. I'll never understand that. I will never understand it. I have no fucking clue what you people do in your real life. I have no clue what you people do in society. I have no clue what goes through your head. They need to put... Take about 10 campers, put them in a goddamn Jess Institute, and, and do studies on their mind, the movements in the brain, the way it functions. Because I, I can't fathom why you would want to sit in a building and camp. How is that fun? How is it fun? I, I need to know. Because if someone can show me how it's fun, maybe I'll do it if it's that fun. But I can't because it's boring. It's not fun. Don't you understand? It's not fun. So... I want to start a new thing, a no camp month, the month of July, for gamers out there, let's adhere to this rule, no camp month, let's go through July free camping, July camp free, let's, let's just try to go through July camp free, and if, if you spot someone camping, report them, the, report them somehow, we'll, we'll come up with some kind of FDA commission or something, because this camping has ruined online gaming. To a point where it's non-functional to even buy a map pack. It's non-functional to even play the game because people just want to camp and their excuse will be, well, I'm playing defensively and smart. No, you're playing like a goddamn bitch. Especially the ones that sit in the corner. Corner campers are the worst ones. Because you go into a building, a court or whatever, looking for somebody, and they'll pop out and shoot you and then go to another corner. The fuck sense is that? And then Treyarch and Infinity War both, you gave them little tools to use, cold-blooded and uh, ghost. No one cried about cold blooded because no one used it. Like I was talking to somebody, they said that it was in a it was in a perk spot where something more valuable was there. You should take it out of that one perk slot so no one will use it. Because when you give, so I know it sounds like a broken fucking record, but when you give some of the benefit to make yourself invisible in an online game, it is 99% of the problem right there because they're gonna use it. And when you can't see them crosshairs or them letters on someone's name, put your you can't see that. 
They'll blend in with the surroundings. That's what they'll do. That perk needs to be the hell out of the game. Shouldn't even be involved in the game. It's ridiculous. It's like second chance, too. Come on, man. You're giving these people tools and, and, and principles to live by. I mean, first you give them a campground, then you give them a fucking tool, a goddamn no name tag, whatever, a campfire to sit there and wait for people to come in the door. It's ridiculous. So, I'm embarrassed right now. In 20 years of gaming, I've never seen anything that stunk so bad with these people playing the game now. It's embarrassing. How people want to camp in, I mean, I don't understand it. Someone explain to me. Like I said, I need to take them to the Jess Institute and do some kind of research on their mind and see what goes through their mind in a molecular type structure in some type of frenetic pace atmosphere, what they're going through. They, that... Now, like I said, you're used to it. You play Battlefield Bad Company. I have no fucking clue how you play that game. It's nothing but campers. So anyway, if there's any way that we can go through the month of July camp free, this would be the greatest thing in the world because I want to play the game, but I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get on new map packs. Silent is going to be a little corner spot, campers. And the other one, Hangar, there's going to be a little corner campers. I have no clue on what is going on with society these days. I mean, you got to think of it this way. God forbid, God forbid any of these people that camp ever get drafted. We ever go to war and they ever get drafted into a goddamn war. God forbid. God forbid. Because this country would be beaten down by any other country if we had these same people fighting for our country in a war. God forbid that don't happen. So we need, I'm serious, God forbid. Because if these people are going to sit in a corner and curl up in a ball in a fetal position like that dude did in Private Ryan. That's what's going to happen if we continue to let them figure out how to camp in a video game. We need to show them how to prosper through thick and thin. God forbid, man, for real, I never thought of that. If we go to war right now and we get these same campers fighting in a war, <laughs> Hey! It's a scary thought. That's a thought that's going to run through my head for the next 10 goddamn years. So anyway, camp free in July. It's uploading now. Silo gameplay. And what do you care for? You're just operating a damn camera.